What's up guys in this video we're gonna talk about Bluebird promise library which is available on NPM as Bluebird module in the last couple of videos we talked about ES6 promises and Q library and we saw how we can promiseify our async operations so in this video we're gonna talk about Bluebird and we will see how we can promiseify our async operations using Bluebird library so we have a file here called Bluebird.js so we are first requiring the Bluebird module and then we are using the constructor which takes a function which have two arguments resolve and reject so if we have to resolve the promise so if we have to fulfill the promise we call the resolve and if we have to reject the promise we will call the reject and passing in the value and in the case of reject this will be an error and once we got the promise we can call the then method where this function is called when the promise is resolved and this function is called when the promise is rejected so let's execute this file and we should get uh, this function executed because currently we are resolving the promise so we got uh, we should get response something good happen so let's just run that node bluebird.js so we got response something good happen so if we reject the promise then we should get uh, this uh, function executed and we will get error something bad happened so now if we execute this file we will get error something bad happened so if you see how we created uh, bluebird promise is quite same uh, the way we created es6 promises but it was different when we used the queue library in that case the way we created promises was a bit different so no matter how we create a promise once we get a promise we can call a then method on it and we can specify our own fulfilled uh, function here which will be called when the function uh, when the promise is resolved so now let's add some async code in our promises so here we are using HTTP module to make get request to the API so uh, it's the same we are uh, using the bluebird uh, constructor and we are passing in this function which takes two arguments so if any error happens with the request itself we are rejecting the promise and if, we, uh, if there was no error with the request but we are getting a status code of which is less than 200 or greater than 299 then we are rejecting the promise and in only case we are resolving the promise is when we get uh, an a status code which is no, uh, in between 200 and 299 so in that case we are resolving the promise and once we resolve the promise uh, in that case this function will be called and we are uh, just printing out the response that we get from the API so let's just execute this file bluebird2.js and we should get the response from the API because our API respond back with a status code of 200 for this request we are passing the ranking as 4 so let's execute this file node bluebird2.js so we got a response and we got it printed on the console if we make a bad request we will see this own rejection function will be called and that error will be printed so error is printed error code 404 now let's chain these uh, promises so in this case now we are chaining our promises so from the first pro uh, from the first fulfill function we are returning another promise and on that promise we are chaining another then where we are printing the response from that request and then we are another returning another promise and once that promise is resolved this function will be called and then we are printing the response from that request and if any error happens inside these requests we will uh, it will call this function and that error will be printed so let's execute this file bluebird3 so node bluebird3 and we got our responses response1 response2 and response3 and if we make if we if if there is any error in any of these promises which will result in the rejection of a promise we will uh, directly skip this uh, then and we will execute this one so if we make a bad request here so I will change it back to a ISO code that we don't support currently so I will put it as CA 
and in that case you will see that this response 1 will be printed and response 2 will be printed but response 3 will not be printed because this will this promise will result in rejection of a promise and then this function will not be executed and this function will be executed so let's just call this now so we're gonna execute this again so we got our first and second uh, response but we didn't get the third one because it resulted in a status of 404 status code of 404 which resulted in rejection of the promise so I will change it back so this is how we can use bluebird library to work with promises and we can promisify our async code so currently we are writing code to create a promise uh, in the next video we're going to talk about the axios npm module so in that case we don't have to write code to create the promise so we will talk about that in the next one